Hey everyone and welcome back to Yosemite Valley. Welcome to the next speed build of the brand new DLC, the North America Animal Pack. And today we bring together what belongs together. It is the Sea Lion Arena in Yosemite Valley. And if you guys are familiar with this series for a while now, you know that when I have first built this uh, entire habitat or this area, um, I refer to it as the sea lion habitat. And this was definitely one of the most um, successful videos of this series. And it was the first, um, back then, it, it was the first implied habitat of a species that didn't exist in the game, nor was it even close to be released because at that time we didn't know about aquatic or semi-aquatic animals whatsoever, like a lot more than the beaver, for example, like it was just very early on. Um, and it was the time where I tried to put myself onto a challenge and build something else. So that was really the first implied habitat in this series. Now. The thing is, and this is why I'm so happy about this, is that it always was meant to be a sea lion habitat. And when we first got the aquatic pack last December, I turned that into a seal habitat. By the way, speaking about this as it was last December, I'm just like completely crazy, right? It's October, it's almost a year again. This is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so we are here with a couple of major changes to the game and also with a couple of major uh, improvements and obviously the biggest improvement of all, we have an actual sea lion. Um, I think I've talked about this in the overall uh, all-in-one overview video. Um, if you haven't seen that one, I try to link all of this stuff in this episode to the top right. You can pick these little bubbles and I will put some of these videos in. Um, but I will definitely say that the sea lion, uh, I'm still missing out on some darker um, fur vari variants. I'm not really happy with the very brownish tint as it is right now. Um, clearly there are a lot of brownish ones out there, but especially the ones that I have in mind from California, like San Francisco and in these piers and stuff over there, um, they do have a lot more darker skin. Maybe it is because of the dirty water over there and that's just pretty dirty and dark, I don't know. But um, I would love to have like a way darker skin variant as well. Um, but yeah, let's talk a little bit more about this grandstand over here or like the viewing area. We do have this beautiful update now with the 1.7 uh, version of the game that includes this new uh, seating areas for guests um, that they do use whenever there is an animal talk happening, which I think is really cool because a lot of people ask for that. A lot of people really ask for that and um, I'm finally happy that they included this. Um, I'm I'm a bit kind of not worried, but I'm a bit confused why it wasn't like, you know, benches or whatever. But I'm even more happy that we have these uh, bigger stands now, which people actually interact with. But again, I, I thought, you know, this has to be in place here. And again, I always envisioned to have a viewing area like that. It's not like a typical show over here. It's more likely um, a very nice education stand in which you can um, see the animals perform a lot of things during the talk. And I wanted to make this area a lot more integrated here, a lot more, uh, give it the feel as if this is one building in which you can have some things. Um, while speaking about this, I remember, <laughs> I, I do actually noticed that I did a little mistake. It's not really a mistake. I forgot something that would have been a nice little detail, but whatever. I'm going to talk about that at a, at a later stage. Um, also, uh, just a little hint here, guys. I will have a lot of habitats in Yosemite, but then I will give Yosemite way away for another guest build, which is pretty exciting. I'm not going to reveal who that is, but it's going to be another um, guest build, and um, it's going to be one of these species that we have well, I don't, I don't know when exactly, but one of the species that um, has put away uh, in, in favor of some newer animals that came with some DLCs will be put back in and um, yeah, it's gonna be exciting. But uh, this build in particular over here uh, was meant to be one of the Yosemite 2.0, as I called the series builds, which will include a couple of animals that you will see in the coming days. So the prairie dog will be in here, the alligator will be put in here, even though this video is not ready yet because I still need to figure a couple of things. Um, I'm just not happy. I, it turned out to be the most difficult of all. So I put that aside because I didn't feel like having the right ideas quite yet. Um, so if you have some great ideas, just let me know in the comments down below. Free 
uh, um, feel free to do so if you have great ideas, but you definitely need to know my series in order to understand where it is. But anyways, um, then we will have the uh, moose, which is going to get in a very nice place in this uh, part. You've already seen the beaver that uh, got a new habitat in here. So a couple of those wonderful animals uh, make it into this park. Now, one of those animals that we have to wait a little bit for is the Arctic fox. That's not going to make it into Yosemite, um, but the cougar will also make it in. And I think the cougar is going to be the next video you guys are going to see. So, yeah, I'm very excited to bring this all in. But after this, I really wanted to. So here's a bit of a story time from your favorite camel. If you want to know that, you have to stick with me in these videos till this point in time. Um, I wanted to make the tour already of the zoo and include that in the first week. So I, my plan was to really push all the videos out on the course of this week because we have the release now on Monday or had this on Monday um, so that until Friday uh, Yosemite is kind of done and Saturday would have been the big, big tour. But I figured, you know, Yosemite is far from being done. Big thing is that we have a lot better performance now. This update 1.7, I don't know what exactly happened, but it just gave me 25 to 30% more FPS. Naming, I don't have 15 anymore on play. I have 20 to 22 FPS. That is really, really enjoyable. You will see that later on in the tour even in play mode, that is really enjoyable. And that gives me the chance to really finish the product uh, project in the way I want to, and maybe even release some guests into it while we do the tour. So I will actually take the tour and wait until end of year. It's gonna be released to the next DLC, I promise. I want to take the hype from the next DLC and I want to prepare everything as best as I can. <clears throat> Little side note, if Frontier is not going to do birds, because then I have a serious problem. But if they're not going to do birds, um, or any other specific animal that needs to be in here, the tour will be one major release that is going to take whatever is going to be new, at least one thing is going to be brought into it to give it a reason, but then you will see the big final tour of Yosemite um, at the end of the year. I think that's a very good thing to look forward to. However, that also includes the fact that I will continue this project until this time. So you can expect a lot more Yosemite Valley 2.0 episodes until this point in time. But now I talked a lot and the speed build is nearly over. Um, there will be a couple of little um, specific things in the final result that you haven't seen in the time lapse simply because I did a lot off screen and I had a little crash. So yeah, just look out for these little secrets that you will see. But uh, until then, have a great time. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to the speed build part. And now enjoy also the real time part. Thank you so much as always for your support. And now enjoy walking through this new sea lion arena. It's finally an actual one. So cool. All right, so here we are in the real-time part, and we start over here at the normal pier side, where actually nothing has uh, changed, because this wing uh, was already thought to be exactly this way at the very beginning of this build a couple of months ago, when it was in you know, uh, initially planned for sea lions. So we have this little natural pool over here, as you can see, um, where they can actually dive, get a little bit of a rest, and also be a bit more in a private area, as you can see. Um, this is very nice over here. Look at that one, just diving down for us here. Uh, or, like, actually not diving, but swimming a little bit. Now it's diving for us. Look at that, how cool is this? Like standing on this little uh, pier here and having a look of these wonderful sea lions diving around. But the real magic, as you have seen in the time lapse, actually happened over here on the other side. So this is why we are just taking the pathway all the way here through this area. Now, I'm not going to show you too much of this because that's still work in progress and subject to change. For those of you who do watch Shadowfrax, that was a little uh, hint to that one. Whatever. Um, if we go over here, you can see um, this is pretty much as it was always. To the left hand side, we have the aquatic house. We've got half dome there. And if we turn our heads, to the right hand side we can already spot one big change and this is that little building in the back it's kind of a Californian um, San Francisco inspired classical building style um, some bit of Victorian style in it but you know that what you just expect also with the mute colors you can see it's, it's tiny open it's just like a facade nothing crazy there's a nice big 
a sea lion coming towards us here. Um, so yeah, this has changed and also the uh, overall habitat has changed a little bit. So what we don't have anymore is any relations to ice or snow because I wanted to keep it fairly like, uh, you know, normal, like kind of, I don't know, summery because that's what this this habitat kind of replace uh, just uh, resembles um, and this is kind of the idea behind this you can see all these wonderful sea lions sitting over there can we actually also change the sunlight a little bit so we can see a bit more of this habitat there you go I think that's that's even better there you go that's a lot better now you can see this is a new platform for them to sit down into and then we've got a, a very easy way to get into the water um, where they can go onto a dive and you can see the diving area has still remained actually the same you can see a a huge change to the um, stands like to the, to the uh, top area if you remember how that was previously um, I completely redesigned this and I was actually thinking about this quite a lot because I wasn't too sure how exactly I want to pull that off but um, I think the solution I went for is really exactly the one I wanted to uh, and I'm very happy with this one in the end. So now from over here you can really see this wonderful viewing gallery. Like I really do love standing below here seeing them diving. Like this perspective here is really cool. And you're just below the stands uh, where you can sit down and uh, get your education rating filled. I guess this is what we need to say about this. Like ah, this is just looking... I'm, I'm still such a big fan of the diving mechanic in this game. And I'm just very happy that we have the sea line because as said in the time lapse of Obviously, this is finally the animal this entire habitat was intended for and this is what makes me insanely happy now also different areas give you different views this is like the very big pool in which they can roam around they have a lot of spaces to chill down and you know just enjoy the time and now we have the big change over here so you can see um, this entire area changed a lot so we have this big area where to sit down and enjoy the show now from over here we've got a yeah this is actually not too low this is this is measured by the normal people height as i told you tajit cam is a tiny bit too high always um and you are here and on the right hand side you can spot the wonderful aquatic house which is just housing in front of half dome we've got the uh, elephant area over there and then if we go into this area this sign has to be replaced i don't have this sign quite yet but this has to be replaced this is the talk area or the show area i call that talk area i think uh is a, you know the the phrasing is nicer than show uh, because it shouldn't be like real show you know but if you just have a look inside here I think this really um, turns out to be looking super nice because this is exactly what I did. these are meant to be some ponchos you know that you don't get too soaked and wet from the show maybe um, even though we are not as close they can still make some funny things with the water and uh, the first rows could get wet a little bit I know they don't look fantastic but you know that's the best I could do um, with the pieces because we don't really have plastic on anything that just looks like semi-transparent or semi-translucent um, other than glass and, and glass doesn't really work for that but anyhow you can see this is then the view from over here and finally we can now use this seating area and oh boy I'm so happy with how that turned out we've got this wonderful view from on top here just imagine we are sitting here and enjoying the show of the sea lions and uh, I think this area now finally feels finished and uh, you know what before before we end this uh, I'm just going to quickly jump out of Tajit Cam and I'm just going to show you the area again from above because I think it really deserves to be shown from above I mean just look at that just look at this show area look at this area where the animals are really enjoying their time and I think you know one thing that always struck me somehow was that uh, the, the tropical domes in the background were shining through a little bit too much and they took a little bit of the attention but now as we have uh, this new approach to this area I think it looks a lot better by blocking off the view and uh, making sure that people from over here are fully immersed in the uh, idea of a you know sea lion habitat and the more like North American kind of style and I think this is what I'm very very happy with now I hope you guys are too and now this is the moment for me to say 
Goodbye. <laughs> this is the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you want to support the channel, you can do this in many, many ways. Um, first of all, and the most important one, you can just click subscribe if you haven't already, because that helps the algorithm the most to understand that you guys enjoy the content. If you want to support a bit more, there is now the membership option for 99 cents. I changed this a couple of weeks ago, so it's quite affordable if you want. You get as a reward some wonderful emotes, and we are still missing one single member to unlock two new emote spots, and we can can get some new emotes down there um, but that's just you know some extra thing if you want to do this that's totally fine if not you know whatever it's fine um, and that's about it I am in holidays right now in Spain so I'm not really sure how the content will be I'm pre-producing a little bit but it's not that, that much I could have done you know the little one uh, is demanding a bit of attention and obviously gets priority but um, for the moment being there will be all animals covered I have made some wonderful uh, speed builds for you so keep your eyes on the channel there are a couple of uh, speed builds coming in the next coming days and some other exciting stuff uh, stuff is also uh, uploaded and scheduled for you anyhow enjoy your time stay safe everyone thank you so much for your ongoing support and leave me a lot of feedback in the comments down below about this build do you like the build do do you like the viewing area? Do we have any ideas what we could add as well? And yeah, just let me know. Thank you so much. And until the next one, stay safe and goodbye.